Now, improving healthcare access uh, to low-income consumers in an affordable way is one of the reasons why I came to Acumen. The numbers themselves are truly staggering. There are more than a billion people in the world who do not have access to healthcare systems. More than 30% of rural consumers in Africa cannot access any form of healthcare within a five kilometer radius. In Kenya, the per capita expenditure on healthcare is 84 US dollars. In the United States, it's 8,595 US dollars per capita. The factor that has really stuck in my head for a long time, which makes me personally passionate about healthcare, is that the number one reason why households which have crossed above the poverty line dip back below the poverty line is a healthcare emergency in the household. At some level, one should think that government should provide healthcare uh, to low-income consumers. And the truth is that in many of our developing countries, it does in a subsidized way. However, the poor quality is legend. I've lived in India most of my life, and I have used a government healthcare facility for treatment only once. In college, I was on a motorcycle trip. I met with a road accident on a highway uh, between the states of Rajasthan and Gujarat. I was taken in a three-wheeled auto rickshaw to a government hospital in a town called Palanpur. Uh, which is on the border of those two states. I was unconscious. My friends left me in the hospital and went to look for help. They thought that in case I regained consciousness and felt hungry, they left two packets of glucose biscuits on my bedside table. When they returned after a couple of hours, they, they found that those two packets of biscuits had been gnawed through by rats. Uh, my head was a few inches from those two packets of biscuits, and I had been unconscious all this time. Healthcare is Acumen's largest portfolio. We currently have $16 million invested into 13 companies. Many of our investments are in what is called secondary healthcare. However, low income consumers first reach out for what we call as a subsector primary healthcare. That's the local clinic. That's the local doctor. That is often what we call the general practitioner or the family doctor um, in, in, in our countries. Unfortunately, the quality of many of these is very suspect. India and much of the developing world has a problem with these doctors called empirical healthcare. The doctors are not actually qualified doctors, but they practice medicine in an empirical way. Have a fever, get an antibiotic. Uh, some of them feel that consumers feel better about getting injections than rather than taking oral pills. So they are given injections of sugar water even when they don't need them. Also, many practitioners treat diagno uh, diagnostic tests as not ways to figure out what the problem with the patient is. They treat it as a way to earn income through kickbacks which come from diagnostic clinics back to the doctors for referring patients for tests. With all of this, really providing accessible and high quality healthcare at affordable prices still remains one of the leading challenges for Acumen's work with low income consumers. And with all of that, and with all of my focus on primary healthcare, I frankly could not have been more pleased uh, when we found and invested in Miliki Afia. And it's indeed my pleasure today to welcome Ernest to tell you a little bit more about how that investment is going. Thank you.